Hello everyone. So now let's do one more activity in our Cisco Packet Tracer series. Here in this one, I am going to give you a little small overview, and I will give you assignment. Let's see if you can do. Then we can proceed for the next lab. If you cannot, we will show you how we can do this one. This is a very basic. Here, what we are doing, we are building our basic foundation because in the coming classes we are going to do one uh, big lab. So before going to the big lab, we are uh, performing a small small activity. We are going to mix every uh, everything in our big lab. So before going to that one, now we have one scenario here. Okay, this is very basic uh, scenario. Here, what we have, your manager give you some assignment, some activity you need to perform. He give you some task. He is saying PC one should not access the HR server, and PC two should access the HR server. So this is a PC one, and this is a PC two, and this is a HR server. You can use whatever you want to use and perform this activity. Actually, we are going to use the ACL in the coming classes. I am going to teach you how we can perform this activity. But before that one, I will give you three days. In three days, you can perform this activity and submit in our WhatsApp number. If you face any issue, let us know. We are going to support you. We are going to help you. Okay. So I will give you some small overview. See here. First of all, you need to assign this IP to this interface. This IP to this interface. This IP to this interface. And this IP to this interface. After that, you need to do some routing protocol. Why we need the routing protocol? Because this router R1 don't know anything about this network. Only he know directly connected. He don't know anything about this one, so he will not forward the packet. He will drop if any packet want to go here. He will drop here. So what we need to do? We need to configure the routing protocol. You can use the static routing. You can use the dynamic routing. You can use RIP one, RIP two, EIGRP, or OSPF. We will use our favorite OSPF as we are running in our organization. Also OSPF, so we are going to use the OSPF. What I am going to do in our next class, I am going to enable the OSPF in this interface, in this interface, and in this interface, and in this interface. So this router know all the network whatever available here. All the routes will be available in this router. After that, this guy will able to access this server. This guy is also able to access this server. Then after that, we are going to look how we can block this PC to access this server. We can use a standard ACL. We can use extended ACL. We can use name one, number one. Uh, we can check anything. We can use. I am giving you assignment. Try to finish this in three days, if you can. If if you cannot. Then we will do anyhow in the coming classes. I am going to use the one uh, standard ACL and I am going to block this AC. Okay. Now I give you overview. You have the concept before you learn in our paid batch or free batch. So you already learned the ACL in CCNA, CCNP. So I hope you have the background about this one. You can perform this activity. Okay. Very soon we are going to start the Fortigate firewall also paid batch. In that one also we will use the ACL policy. So many thing. If you want to join, you can join. There also we are going to learn lot of stuff. Okay, but anyhow, no problem. If you have issue to do this lab, I will show you in our next class. Okay, this is just overview about this scenario. We are going to perform in our next class. Before that one, try to complete this one. Okay, thank you.